welcome to Train Simulator 2017. It's been a while since I've recorded a Train Sim video and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity because, well, frame rates are high and that usually means that it's <laughs> good recording weather if you want to consider that uh, in my case. Um, so yes, and that's exactly why I haven't really recorded a Train Sim video. It's been a while since I've recorded one and like I said, it's just, you know, this computer is not the greatest and recording and playing train sim just kills it. I mean OBS is probably the best uh, software for recording it's just that you still need a very good computer uh, in order to run both things at the same time so uh, usually maps where the... Um, I thought the train disappeared for a second, it turned so quickly <laughs> um, maps that have pretty good frame rates are uh, the best maps for recording. So we are in Mariah's Pass. We are starting off, I believe, Whitefish Station, Whitefish Yard, that's where we're at right now. Uh, today we are driving a 484 Northern steam locomotive. Uh, this locomotive, I believe, was built around the 1920s and used early 1930s. Uh, and, I mean, just as the side of the locomotive says, this is the Spokane, Portland, and Seattle Railways, so it's used to being up here in the cold and whatnot. Uh, this is 701. It's got a basic, well, it's got no paint scheme at all. It's just the basic uh, black wheels and whatnot, no extra white stripes. Down the side of the locomotive, um, yeah, I got this locomotive uh, cheap, like $3 on the Steam store. Uh, it actually didn't show up on the DLC page in Steam. It showed up. Uh, in the in-game train simulator store, but I got it when it was like three dollars uh, from the winter sale. Another train I got pretty cheap was the uh, Amtrak. Uh, I forgot what they call it. Uh, is it the? I'm trying to. Th I'm trying to think of the name. Okay, I am back. So, wow. I don't know why I couldn't think of it, but I bought the Empire Builder <laughs> Amtrak pack. Uh, this is the Phase Five uh, P. 42 diesel locomotive. I don't know why Empire Builder did not come into mind. All I could think was Silver Star, which I know is from Miami, and Surfliner, of course, from California. But man, Empire Builder, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Uh, I just got a regular uh, BNSF, Burlington Northern, Santa Fe boxcar. Uh, two more Phase 5 baggage cars. These are the uh, Durango and Silverton cars. Th there's I bought this game in 2014, and it came out with Donner Pass and whatnot. These are the cars that came with it. There was like Southern Pacific, Union Pacific Force for uh, Cajon Pass, and then this one, which I know does not belong with uh, Southern Pacific and whatnot. But I had the uh, added those cars in. Just thought those would fit. We got a Amtrak Diner and a or Cafe and then Diner, and it doesn't really match with the concept, but whatever. Uh, changes the cars up a bit, and then we got a Burlington Northern caboose, which I forgot to turn the lights on, but the caboose does light up. There we go, we got lights on that, so uh, that is our consist. Oh, there's actually snow on the ground. Okay, I think it was glitched out before. Well, I didn't realize it till now, but something wasn't right with the snow and texture pattern before when I was playing this, so now there's snow, yay. Alright, let's go ahead. Oh, that that's a really big glitch going into the passenger <laughs> there's snow it's snowing i hope those passengers aren't dying of the cold all right we'll turn this on let's get inside uh this train was made cool our lights are on the lights are actually good and they don't lag up which is awesome so this train was made by uh g tracks i believe it's the same people who created all the Southern Pacific 484s, uh, so like the daylight and whatnot, the war bonnet of uh, the uh, 4449, that's the engine I'm trying to think of, uh, and then the nickel plate Berkshire is the other one that they made, so this is one of them, and uh, they're pretty good, I mean, they got a lot of detail, but like I said, it doesn't, you know, unlike the diesels and whatnot, you know, it doesn't lag up the game so much. Like, they got enough, and, you know, they don't need to add more. So it's a very good locomotive. 
So we got our lights on. I don't know why we got the diesel lights on, but those are on too. Really? Okay, those just automatically come on, so it's not my problem. Uh, we're going to go out and head out to West Glacier Stations. I believe it's only 20 miles or something like that. It is not a big distance to cover. The station is right there. So, And with the diesel on, it shouldn't take long uh, whatsoever. So I'm not too sure what camera angles to use, only because interior, well, you can't really see what's in front of you. Uh, when you go out, see the interior is kind of like messed up. Like, I don't know, it's just the detail level from the outside isn't the greatest. Oh, I could have shown you there. Yeah, see, it's like, it doesn't give you a lot of detail. It's like from here, there's like no detail. But if you're inside, boom, there's all this detail. So, I'm not sure. Usually I like the third person cam. <laughs> it's just me. And also, this is, I think, oil. It's not actually coal. It's a oil uh, locomotive. Which is what most steam locomotives are going to today. Let's go ahead and pull out of what our um, I almost said West <laughs> West Glacier um, from Whitefish. Got the bell on. I think we're gonna keep the reverser on 30 or so. We want a lot of power from the steam locomotives. So we're gonna keep it there. Two blasts of the horn. Whistle. I love that whistle so much. It's so good. I don't know why. We'll go ahead and sit at the end of the platform here and get this train rolling. Oops, I'm going to need that because I can't control the train and with the controller when I go to free mode. So hopefully, okay, good. We're not speeding or anything. It's always nice to see. A good shot of the train there. That bell is annoying. The diesel, speaking of annoying, the diesel is going to be really annoying. I don't know why it's so loud. I mean, well, they are loud because uh, they got an actual electric engine or you know, diesel electric engine, what they call them. Compared to a steam locomotive, all it's got is just the piston, so that's obviously going to be much louder. And there's our caboose. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and head out. So again, this is Marias Pass. This is another route I recently bought during the fall sale or something like that back in 2016. I don't seem to play this game often though, as much as I would like to. Again, part of it's because of how laggy some routes are. A good example is New York New Haven. I tried playing, well, I tried recording uh, the electric Amtrak service line. I probably shouldn't have done that because I was literally watching this game at 10 frames a second. It was that bad. So there's just a few routes that I cannot record. And that's if I want to put my money to a better computer, but I really don't see myself getting one yet. I really, <laughs> I really think I should save up because, uh, well, in the winter I don't get any money because what I do is, uh, or what I do to get money is during the summer. So, uh, yeah, I can't really spend too much in the winter unless I get money or gift cards and whatnot for Christmas, which is usually what it is. Uh, actually, I got this funny story. I got this 
uh, steam locomotive, the Amtrak, and I got, I had to have gotten one more thing. Oh yeah, CSX, it was the AC 600, 6000, I don't know what the name of that one is. I'm not familiar with that diesel. Uh, but I got that one. I was blah, 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 debating between the SD80 CSX and then that other one. And I was just looking at reviews and like, no, get the, get the, uh, AC or AW600 or whatever, because that one was actually a pretty decent locomotive, so. Uh, I got that one instead. So I got more CSX diesels to play around with. I'm also working with a, or making a fantasy CSX route it's supposed to take place, you know, you know, Ohio and whatnot. That's the goal. Just get to the crossing. <laughs> yeah, blow your last long whistle through the crossing grade. That's what they say, at least. Alright, we're on the incline again. I think I am glad. I was, before recording this, I was debating whether to put the diesel on behind, but. What came into mind was, uh, well, how steep would the incline be? Because I've never actually gone past Whitefish <laughs> in this game. I've been on the other side of Mariah's Pass where it's pretty flat, uh, but I haven't been on this side in the Whitefish area, nor have I gone through the mountains, and I know it gets pretty mountainous, so um, I was just like, okay, well, I'm not sure about the incline, so I'll go ahead and get the diesel on. And also, I just want to make this video short. <laughs> I don't want to make a long one because most of them are like hours long. That's, I don't know how I could play that much. That's why most people, I like uh, the guys that I watch, they stream Train Sim, which is probably the best thing to do. Um, but I can't stream it. So, but I like recording this stuff. I, you know, I feel like just playing this is like, oh, I have so much to say. I can't, uh, can't go without telling somebody about something. But I do like the snow. It's very cool. We're going to get into 70 mile per hour zone. And of course this train can't really get up to 70, but, uh, heck, we're going <laughs> to make it go to 70 miles an hour. Very nice locomotive, though. You see, there's no, like, shoveler. Oh, that's something. I don't know what that is. There was nothing for coal. That's just right there. That's just the gauge to show, you know, to make sure the fire is still going and whatnot. So oil runs through underneath and the tender to the engine, and uh, that's I believe how it works. Just the oil burns and it's enough to heat up, heat up the firebox, warm up the boiler and get the steam. All right, we're gonna reach the 70. So now, all that's going to happen is this diesel is just basically going to take over. I'll move back so we can hear the diesel. Just because why not? There we go. Can you hear it uh, wind up? Spuel up? Is that the word? I don't know. Something. It's just turning. Now the steam locomotive is definitely working because we got boiler pressure is going down slightly. So it's doing something at least, so we can't push it really hard, but we do know that diesel will help. Yeah, I'm curious to see, as uh, a lot of guys know from the steam locomotive restoration, you know, the people that follow that stuff, they are trying to restore that Union Pacific Big Boy. The Big Boy uh, wheel configuration is 4884, I believe. So if you can picture the northern, we got four uh, lead guide wheels. We got these eight driver wheels, and then we got another four uh, following wheels, again, to keep the locomotive straight on the track uh, through the corners. The big boy, and again, this is for people who don't know, the big boy has four guide wheels, uh, eight drivers, another set of eight drivers. Uh, which is also powered by its own separate uh, piston 
cylinder heads and then four guiding ones and those have to be the most powerful steam locomotives in the world they're heavy and uh, they created a lot of power back then I'd be curious to see if they actually need a diesel to help it you know for this train it's, it's a very I mean this is a very medium to large steam locomotive so it usually doesn't need a diesel in our case but we just want to get the run over with um, and I had to struggle with trying to balance out our boiler pressure but you know they're still used so just in case anything goes wrong with the steam locomotive but there's it I mean because they're made now where they're not made as strong and you know powerful as they used to be I don't know if it's just the you know how hot they want to get the you know firebox to be it just doesn't pull as much as as you see now and you know if you're lucky you'll get steam locomotives up to 70 75 miles an hour you just don't get that anymore with steam locomotives and uh, and it's just the way we drive them or you know want to make sure they're staying in good condition because there's not a lot of steam locomotives out there um, but look for as big as the big boy is for how much power and torque that that thing you know can give and you know what it should give when it's out there on the track I don't think it's gonna need any diesel helpers I'd be uh, pretty interested to see how that's going to be. I don't know when the project ends. It's going to be definitely when I'm off to college and whatnot, but it's something I want to see in my lifetime uh, to go and you know ride on that and watch it because those things are just massive. The ground will just shake uh, underneath your legs. It's unreal. But like I said, it'd be interesting. And I mentioned that uh, the Nickel Plate 765 Berkshire that thing usually has two diesel locomotives helping it when it gets around Horseshoe Curve. Or every video I've seen of it go around Horseshoe Curve, it's always needed two helper engines. So I find it, uh, find it interesting that it needs that much. I think one, one would be just enough because it's about the same size as this Northern, just a little bit smaller. That's probably why, just not not as big driver wheels and whatnot. Oh, this car's at that crossing. That's nice. I like the trees though in the snow. I mean it's hard to look at these graphics now and well my graphic settings are turned down by the way of course um, most of it's all the way down but uh, to, to look at that to look at train sim world how good that game looks is just it's just unreal I I don't know what better way to you know put it it's very realistic game and you're definitely gonna need a very good computer to run that game That, I mean, that's just how good the graphics are. So someday, someday I'll get a good computer. Good computer for uh, recording, playing train sim, editing. I'm going to need a good computer anyways if I plan to get iRacing. iRacing is my goal uh, just throughout you know, my college years and later on. Uh, since I've already done so much Xbox racing and gaming, I might as well try to get eye racing on a better computer. Alright, we hit 50 miles an hour. We're going by the Columbia Falls signal. This is what it says on the gradient map. Uh, I think, well, we were on a steady a steady gradient, but uh, well, now it's going to kind of go up and down. Just depends. I'm going to pass the signal there. We are flying. Right here. I just want to I'm just going to go to this camera. Track side cam. There we go. Show you how fast we're really going. <laughs> that is fast. Oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, this is where... There's a Y up ahead here. Yeah. So this Y, we're going to go left of it, and uh, if you go down south, I don't know what this place is called. I don't know. Anyways, 
uh, but I'm going to go left of here. I was looking at the map, and this area is really weird because there's like a little Y here. And I'm wondering if these two lines weren't later put in. Uh, I don't know. It's just, that's just the way it looks. These two lines probably did come through the left here. I mean, that's a really small trackage, but I wonder if when the route was just starting, they didn't have these two going by this way. Uh, I would like to figure that out. I always look for that too, look for that in maps where old tracks might have gone before, where new ones were placed over time. There's a lot of that uh, you'll see now if you look in Google Maps and uh, Toth Path Trail, especially where I live. Most of them were at one time a railroad. <laughs> And they, of course, at one time got rid of them because, well, they just didn't need them. It's so hard to see. I was like, it's saying there's a... I, 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 got, I got the whistle marker, but I just didn't see... Uh, the crossing oh, is there another one? I got another facing one. I guess there's another one. Yeah, I see it now. You see, if it wasn't snowing and it wasn't so hazy like it is. Not really hazy, it's just more foggy. I'd see that much sooner. That's why you got whistle markers. Well, some areas do, some areas don't, but at least... They do a good job on this on these maps showing where they where they are. Life isn't that easy though. And you know you're going fast when you're basically following the cars on the road. I think those cars are doing forty. I'm doing forty three. Diesel working now. <laughs> I feel like the diesel is just pushing the steam locomotive. Again, I really don't think I'm doing anything. The echo effects underneath the bridges. So I really feel like we're not going anywhere with this train. I'm kind of, I'm still dealing with boiler pressure problems. So if we just put the throttle there, well we're staying at a constant 46.5 miles an hour. Boy the pressure is, oh boy the pressure is slowly going up. I'm not too sure how that diesel is working though. How it's responding from my throttle changes in the, you, you can't change the reverser. Uh, you can change the reverser when driving steam locomotives because you know it does differ between how open the valves are and you know how closed they are within the diesel or within the steam locomotive. Gosh, excuse me. So you can change the reverser, but when you got a diesel hooked up, you can't. You're either going forwards or backwards, and your throttle is what changes the speeds and adjusts them. It's still pretty fast, 47. I mean, yeah, speed limit there here is 70, but, well, up ahead here we got a speed limit of 40. So we'll definitely be at 40, which is good. We're estimated to get in our destination in 20 minutes, with about 13 miles to go. I'm not going to slow off for the speed yet, but we will have to. Power lines through there. Driver uh, wheels are moving pretty quickly, that's for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and roll off. I feel like we just let it coast. Oh, we're kind of going downhill though. We put some brake into it. Obviously, if they want us to go 40, then we need to slow down for a reason. Oh, wow, the brakes are very strong. Well, let's try. I think the diesel is kind of doing some braking, too. So, so we're good. We will have brakes. Don't have to complain about that. 
Uh, while we're coasting, let's go ahead and put more water in the boiler. Coal. Well, it's technically oil, but we want to put more. Oh, I see. It becomes single track. Ooh. Yeah, boiler pressure's dropping because we're adding water in it. Here we go. Now we're getting in some mountains. Okay, the water's definitely not going up. Oh, it is, slowly. It's not getting anywhere because... Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, what can I do to make sure the boiler pressure doesn't drop anymore? We'll do that. I'll add some coal. Got everything going right now. Yeah, back off on the reverser. So, if I back off on the reverser, I'm kind of putting more power towards the diesel. And if I go up a little bit more, I might be putting more to the steam locomotive. But, the more I go up, the more, like I said, I'll drop in boiler pressure. Is that helping it go up at all? I feel like sometimes the blower does that. Still a balancing act, that's for sure. Alright, there we go. Let's go get more power. Alright, we got 55 up ahead, so obviously you're gonna straighten back out. It's not gonna be so much hills. We got a lot of mountain stuff. Oh, we got a tunnel! We got a tunnel, people. We're going to have to go into the first person here. I think we can go into this camera. At least I hope so. We got the river. Oh, the road over there. Can we go to this camera? Yes, they allow us. Oh, it's a very small tunnel. I bet it didn't matter anyways. We'll be in this camera angle for a while. We'll ride on the train. Milepost. One, two, zero, seven. Yeah, some straighten out here. That's a good view in the valley. Very nice. Oh, there's a train behind. Pretty long train, actually. I think there's about 12 cars or so. Well, let me count that down here. Is the tender Amtrak 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, Wow, we have 14 cars. I didn't realize I had that many. Maybe originally I had 12 and then added 2 or something. That's probably what happened. Alright. Let me get our boiler pressure up. That's not going up anywhere. Our speed's still going up a bit. I just, like I said, I just like to keep the boiler pressure up. I don't know if it's this hard in real life to do that. I, I would like to find that out, too, driving a steam locomotive. Seeing if it is that tough to keep boiler pressure up. I feel like you just struggle in this game so much. I don't know why. Alright, we got green there. Adding some coal in, so that smoke's gonna be pretty extensive. What do we got there? Just another milepost marker. Yep. Yeah, definitely. If we didn't have the diesel on, we'd be struggling. <laughs> Again, boiler pressure would be a pain. The balance. Because once you drop the boiler pressure, you can't go anywhere, and then you're just climbing up the mountain, you know, 12 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour. So I'm glad I put the diesel on. I was thinking too much about that, but I was smart. Ooh, we got a whistle marker. That's one thing about being on the driver's side, is that 
Uh, you cannot see where the where anything's at if you make a left hand corner. As soon as it's getting close, because we got like rocks. So there it is. Turn the reverser down just a bit. More power to the diesel. Okay, see. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, so when you're on a steam locomotive, the more you put down on the reverser, the more you have to go up on throttle to get the power. So this is more for like, you know, extra acceleration or whatever. If you want more speed, you're gonna go up more on this reverser, and but you won't have a lot of throttle power you have to keep it low see you can kind of tell because this will pop red usually you want it like in between like red and green on the boiler pressure so by going down more on this the diesel locomotive isn't affected by this it's either going forward or backwards so that means I can do this and it's not going to take a lot of boiler pressure out of the steam locomotive but it gives the diesel behind more power so that's a good way to cheat Oh, we missed that bridge. I saw the bridge, but I didn't look down on it. So that's that's a good way to do it. I'd say do that. See, because look at that. Now our boiler pressure is just doing great. And now we're giving the diesel all this extra power. So I think that will help a lot. Maybe we're getting to a little town. Be straight because that was a green red signal. Blew the horn wrong. <laughs> Giving too many long blasts. Yeah, so now we can probably go up a little bit more. There we go. Get the diesel working. By town. Was there a name for that town? Uh, Koram? Koram, I guess is the name. Usually any markers on the map is. Oh, so bad. Any mark on the map. The mark on the map. Say that ten times fast. Usually is the name of the area or city in that area. Alright, so we got two tracks now. I don't know why we're on the right track. Oh no, because I think... Oh. Wow, what side is the... What side is the... Station on? Because we might be on that... Oh well, no, it goes back to one track. Let's just make sure, because I know the station's up ahead here. And there are multiple tracks. Uh, yes, because we need to go on the far right one. Far right one will take us right up to the station. Oh, we're getting pretty close. I don't think we're getting that close. Darn it, that's what happens when you look at the map too long. You miss a crossing gate. Darn it. Oh well. At least there's a crossing gate. That's always nice. Alright, weather pressure looks pretty good. I guess the incline isn't so bad. Oh, now we got Koram, Koram East. <laughs> I'm so terrible at pronunciating. I, I don't know. It's just, it's probably I probably got it from my mom uh, because she had to learn English and whatnot. So that's probably why I struggle with English so much, and why I don't get views on YouTube. <laughs> Actually, that's a terrible explanation. But anyways, that's what I believe. Boiler pressure is outstanding right now. Actually, why are we losing power? We're like slowly decreasing our speed.
Is that grade really too much? Come on, you can. Oh, you know what? We don't got a lot of water or anything. We're at sixty percent here. Ah, I knew that was gonna kill us. Is lower gonna do anything? All right, the diesel's not helping us at all right now. I kind of think the diesel's working, but I'm not. I don't know, maybe the diesel isn't helping. We're losing boiler pressure like it was nothing. Our water's getting back up there. I mean, we only got another five miles, four miles left. We must make it. We'll keep adding oil. <laughs> this is where this is where I just get quiet and I'm just trying to focus. So that changes my thought on how the diesel work. I mean, like I had mentioned from the diesel, I think it, I think it does kind of work that way. But yeah, really, if the, if the steam locomotive is losing power, that diesel won't go anywhere. I feel like I'm not going anywhere. And I hate how when you add water, it takes out pressure. Oh. I mean, it's literally like a mini game. I just, I don't know how people do it. It, just, it would just drive me insane. Wow, let's get that pressure back up there. We're losing so much. I just with, wish the diesel did something more. Slowly, and yeah, we're slowly getting up to speed. A few roads beside us. Whoops, I'm not one with a guy out. Go back to that camera. Let's get some scenic views of the train. We've been too concerned about how this train is going. Let's just sit back, relax. I don't think we're going to cross the speed limit at all, so. We should be good. I hate when he goes above the train. Just stop going above the train. On the side angle. There we go. That's a little better. Let's go ahead and go further down the line. Oh, perfect. Very nice. 
nice. Okay. Our speed's gonna be going up because we're going downhill right now. Yay, there's a good boost. <laughs> so happy. We're going downhill. Whew! Is that another crossing grade? Oh, it's, it's a tree. <laughs> that is not a uh, crossing sign. I don't know what I was thinking. Two more miles to go. Oh, there's a little oh, there's road there. Oh, that's just running along the side of the locomotive. Aren't too bad at a run, so I think we were just getting up to the peak of that mountain and then. Yeah, now we're just going back downhill. Uh, why am I adding water? We're, we're almost there. Two more miles to go. Some more miles. You know, I never really thought about doing the animation of picking up the passengers at the station. So we'll just show dropping off passengers here. I'm gonna go up to West Glacier. Uh, one thing I want to do, I I find it hard to find good scenarios on Mariah's Pass. So I, I might actually make this a scenario, and I'll probably make a few freight and diesel scenarios as well. I just feel like there's not enough on this route. Or there's, like, not a lot of people have made anything good. Alright, cool. 1.1 miles to West Glacier. Past this turnout. I say right about here. We'll go and let it coast. Yeah, I said I wish we heard more of the engine, but the diesel's kind of covering it, or the steam engine. Di diesel's kind of covering up the sound. So. But that is okay. Like I said, still glad we got that diesel on the consist because that would have been a pain. Alright, we're gonna run so far. I gotta apply. Very sensitive brakes. Very too sensitive for the controller. I don't know if there's a sensitivity option for that. Oh, yeah, I am using a controller. I know I talked about that a lot when I had first recorded train sim the channel so I was trying to find a new controller I had a hard time finding controllers actually it was uh it was very complicated I don't know why there's any spectators let them hear the sounds of the engine alright so we need to get to the end of west and there are people over there nice they're, well, they're just the people that spawn in on the platforms. Alright, so we, just, we need to get the rear of the train on the platform. Eh. Heck. I consider this an excursion. I mean, that's basically what this is, an excursion. So we've got a modern diesel. <laughs> this is totally not 1930. I mean, I don't know why those diesel horses are around. But they traveled back in time. Oh, that's cool. There's like a little platform there. We'll stop right there. I like that. We just need to make the stop without applying emergency brakes. Oh wow, that's gonna be quickly stopping. Oh, that's emergency. I don't want emergency. That was a quick stop too. Oh, I got rid of the brakes. No, put it back down. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, this is a scenario, so we're going from one point to another. Cool, so that is that is a run in the 484 Northern. Very nice. It's gonna take some screenshots. Aw, oh, I took the screenshot at the wrong time. Well done, you reached the end of this scenario. Can I do anything else? Can I go into a free room camera? There we go, we got a free room camera. 
I don't know how to actually X out of that without leaving the scenario, but uh, that is it. So we made it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun, actually. I'm glad I was able to record one. Let me know if you guys want to see more. Let me know if uh, you want to help me get a better computer <laughs> so I can get Train Sim World run it at better quality and heck, get me better internet so I can upload faster. So thanks again for watching. Until the next video, I'm Matt Gaming 43 See you guys next time.